Next, we'll export this artwork to be used on the web. And um, before I do that, I just want to show you that if I unlock my hill layer in the layers panel and then click on the green hill shape in there, this obviously came from a document called Poster Trek 01, which was meant for print purposes and all the colors were mixtures of CMYK. This, however, is intended for the web. So if I go to the fill color chip in here in the properties panel and click on that, you'll notice that um, with the color mixer option shown here in the pop out menu, they have been converted into RGB for red, green and blue. So when you take artwork and you copy and paste and those two documents have different color setups, so RGB to CMYK or vice versa, Illustrator will convert them for you. All I would say uh, as a cautionary note to this is if you are working with branded content or where color is very important that it's a specific RGB, then refer to a brand guidelines. Um, don't trust that Illustrator will magically copy your CMYK into RGB and that it will look right. There will be uh, shifts in the colors and things. Uh, but for these in here, um, we don't have anything that's uh, terribly critical. Um, I'm going to hit the return key to make that disappear. Click away. And so to export to the web, well, we can go up to the file menu, go down to export and then choose export for screens. And this dial box in here, it will take us to the artboards tab. And it tells us that this artboard in here is ticked. It's ready to be exported. And um, if it was if, if it was unticked, if I click on that in there, then nothing will be exported. You have to click on the tick in the artboard preview in there to export that out. Now, the actual file name once it's exported is taken from the artboard name. So if I click in there, this will change the artboard name from the generic artboard one. I'm going to call this Twitter cover and then I'm going to hit the return key. That will change the name of the artboard in the document as well, but that will now become the file name when exported. Now, I don't need the bleed in here. There is no bleed, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, we only have one artboard, so the range is set to one, which is fine. And then um, here under export to, I'm going to click on the folder and then browse to where I need the save to, which is back up out of the working folder into the main project folder and then into the output folder. And then I can click on choose to specify that as the place to export it to. And from here, then the only other thing of note at the moment is that when you're exporting artwork and um, you have to pick a pixel based file, that would either be PNG or a JPEG. If it's predominantly made of Illustrator artwork and vector content, you'll want to use PNG because that is built for giving you a very low file size with documents that contain very few colors. A JPEG, on the other hand, is likely to contain thousands of different colors and it's not appropriate. But um, in our case, we'll leave that set to PNG and then we can click on export artboard. And then it even shows us the folder. So here we are output. It puts in a folder called times one, which means that it's hundred percent size. And there we are. That is our Twitter cover and it's 39 kilobytes. So for a Twitter cover in there, that's a, a pretty nice low file size. I'll click back onto illustrator. That is how you export to the web. And that finishes off this chapter.